Approximately 8% of your weight consists of blood, the fountainhead of life. Blood delivers the oxygen and the nutrients to all cells throughout the body. Also, blood works as a carrier of gases and impurities and helps dispose of them from the body. Thus, unhealthy blood may result in various diseases. Let's take a close look at how you can keep your blood healthy. Contaminated blood is a source of all diseases. When your blood is not clean, your blood circulation slows down, which leads to thrombosis. Thrombosis causes serious diseases such as cerebral paralysis, high blood pressure, and arterial sclerosis. Blood is the very foundation of your health. The best way to keep it clean, of course, is to eat the right food. What and how you eat will free you from the worries of serious disease. Fat is definitely to blame for contaminating blood. Pan or deep fried food and meats are typical high calorie foods. If you consume these in large portions too often, you're only adding unnecessary harmful cholesterol and triglyceride to your blood. Overconsumption of sugar is also another problem. Sugar of course is an essential nutrient, but it contaminates and densifies blood when overconsumed. When you get your blood tested, it's easy to see the level of contamination in your blood. Blood cells in clean blood are round and separate from one another. But if your blood is contaminated, the cells are deformed and clustered together. Contaminated blood causes a buildup of impurities that narrows your blood vessels. These blood vessels then begin to harden, which results in arteriosclerosis. Blood vessels with arteriosclerosis in progress are just like a road under construction. It's inevitable for contaminated blood to cease to be able to flow smoothly. With contaminated blood come numb hands and feet, chronic fatigue, and frequent headaches due to poor blood circulation. You may experience dizziness that you're not usually prone to. Many women have to deal with menstrual pains, irregular periods, and liver spots. Also, you may experience random body pains. Food is an influential factor for blood in need of cleansing. Thus, if you pay a little more attention to what you eat, you can prevent your blood from becoming contaminated. Try to reduce your cholesterol and fat intake and add more vegetables to your diet. Vegetable fibers help hinder the absorption of fat into the intestines, keeping your blood clean. Now, you may wonder what kinds of food will help cleanse your blood. One popular representative food is tofu. Tofu is full of quality vegetable protein. Now, let's take a look at how it is made. For the main ingredient, soybeans are carefully selected, thoroughly cleaned, and soaked in water. Then these soaked beans are blended and drawn through a sieve, separating the dregs. After cooling off, the soy extract is mixed with bittern. As the extract begins to solidify, it's placed in a mold and drained. A block of pure nutrients, tofu, is ready. Tofu consists of 85% water, 8% protein, and 3% fat, and is filled with calcium, minerals, and vitamins. Its components like saponin and isoflavin are attracting a lot of attention for their health effects. Isoflavin is at the center of attention because it works in very much the same way as estrogen, a female hormone. 
A 200 gram block of tofu has all the isoflavin your body needs for the day. This will help prevent osteoporosis and arm your body with anti-cancer effects. You can make a variety of dishes with tofu. As much as the simple flavor of tofu can be enjoyed as it is, you can experience many different combinations of flavors by adding other ingredients. Let's look at other tofu dishes that are good for us. In tofu kimchi stew, we use tofu, kimchi, and pork as the main ingredients with broth made from nine other ingredients, including green onions, onions, and pepper. First, stir-fry kimchi in a fully heated pot. Add pork into the pot and pour in the broth. When the pork is cooked, add tofu and then green onions and peppers for more flavor. Bring it to a boil and kimchi tofu stew, boasting fantastic harmony between kimchi and tofu, is ready to serve. 두부에 발효 식품인 김치가 어우러져서 옥돌 두부 김치 전골은 건강식으로 아주 좋은 음식이 되겠습니다. 또 돼지고기와 콩과 김치는 아주 궁합이 잘 맞는 음식으로 저희 주변에서 많이 이용되고 있는 식재료입니다. These flattened tofu thins are used in place of noodles to add a chewy texture to this dish. A wonderful combination of tofu, salmon, and greens, the best for those on a diet. Pancakes made with tofu dregs and kimchi burst with a unique flavor. We should not overlook seaweeds while we are on the subject of foods that cleanse the blood. Alginic acid from the viscous substance of brown seaweed helps cleanse the blood and prevent various adult diseases. Other seaweeds like kelp and laver are healthy for the blood because they contain iron and copper, which are essential in producing hemoglobin. Flavonoid and polyphenol found in onion and garlic help prevent thrombi from forming on the walls of blood vessels and strengthen the blood vessels as well. Onion is especially effective in preventing arteriosclerosis with its antioxidant effects and also in lowering triglyceride and cholesterol. Mugwort is an herb and a great source of nutrients like protein, fat, vitamins, calcium, phosphorus, and iron. It's even used in medicines. Mugwort helps cleanse the blood and lower blood pressure. 과식을 피하고 그다음에 고지방이나 고콜레스테롤 소품도 삼가하는 것이 좋고 특히 그 인스턴트 식품이나 패스트푸드 같은 거 이건 아주 고열량이고 고지방이기 때문에 삼가하는 것이 좋고 또 요즘 그 젊은 학생들이 많이 마시는 탄산 음료라든지 이런 음료 드링크제 이 그런 것도 어, 삼가하는 것이 좋습니다. Lack of exercise, one of our biggest worries today. What we need the most to keep our blood and blood vessels healthy is aerobic exercise. Exercises with relaxed breathing are good for cleansing impurities in blood vessels. Especially running, a typical aerobic exercise is a simple yet very effective exercise. Let's try running for a healthier blood. One holiday, about 5,000 people got together at a city park. The running phenomenon that has been at the center of many's attention for years was about to be witnessed again. Here we are on this beautiful sunny day at the Irsa Marathon where everyone is gathered here to be at the race. We are here to find out how running is an importance for your health. <laughs> There are about 200,000 marathon runners in Korea and 80-some marathon-related organizations nationwide. Although marathons were once believed to be only for professional runners, they are now very popular amongst amateurs who have discovered the true pleasure of running. A marathon is an exercise that offers the pleasure of a runner's high. 
Runner's high is sports terminology, which refers to a sensation similar to that of being on drugs that you would feel after you've run for about 30 minutes at an average speed. Thus, running affects not only your physical health, but also your mental health. How does it feel to have finished the cross line? It feels hot, but very good. Is this your first time participating in the marathon here in your side? In this one, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How did you manage to prepare? What did we, you do? We worked out. We ran around Lake Park a lot. We also ran around the other side, and uh, mostly uh, 10 Ks about three or four times a week. From running, what kind of changes does our body go through, you ask? Well, if we take a closer look at our heart activity and muscle and bone movements, we can surely see the positive effects of a good run. Of course, proper examination is always highly recommended. It's a well-known fact that running strengthens your heart and lung capacities. Have you ever wondered how exactly it affects the health of your blood? 우선 이제 단기간으로 우리가 보면 처음에는 이제 맥박이 막 빨라지죠. 그러면서 혈류량이 많아지고 그러지만 이게 이제 계속해서 장기적으로 하게 되면 우리 혈관에 쌓여 있는 그런 노폐물도 제거하고 그 다음에 이제 우리 몸의 면역도 올려주고 그래서 나중에는 궁극적으로 이제 동맥 경화를 예방한다든지 또 혈압을 정상화 시킨다든지 하는 그런 효과를 얻을 수가 있죠. Exercising without being fully aware of your actual strength is dangerous. It's imperative that you get your vascular age measured before running. It's risky to choose any exercise with no regards to your heart and vascular condition. One may even suffer death during exercise in extreme cases. An exercise stress test is recommended. First, your heart, lungs, and blood vessels are measured for changes while walking you can clearly see that her heart and lung activities are becoming more active. This allows for a smoother delivery of oxygen through the blood. Faster speed enhances blood circulation, and an increase in blood flow helps cleanse the blood by pushing carbon dioxide out of the body. If not using the proper exercise methods, one is bound to run into some kind of negative side effect. The benefits of running are widely known, but on the other hand, it has been found that running can cause strain on the joints, muscles, and body parts. If this is so, proper methods of running should be applied in order to minimize the strain on your body. Doctors claim that a 10-minute warm-up is more important than a 10-minute run itself. Let's try and see what is most suitable for a warm-up before running. Hi, give us a self-introduction of yourself, please. Uh, I'm the director of the Dalil Nurses Association. I see. What is um, this Padolmo? Padolmo. Padolmo, yes. Padolmo, what does that stand for? Padolmo is the director of the Dalil Nurses Association. What kind of stretching? Yeah, I'll teach you a few minutes of stretching. Okay. 아, 우선 이 대퇴하고 하퇴에 있는 뒷 부분은 요뒤 근육을 예, 그거를 이제 저 풀어주는 릴렉스 시켜주는 스트레칭입니다. 오케이. 먼저 오른발을 반 뻗고 구부려면서 쭉 당겨서 발끝을 잡아 당기세요. 그리고 몸은 최대한 자기 앞쪽으로 숙여주고. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, it pulls right here. 예, 예. 발을 예, 발을 꼬고. 예, 꼬고. 몸을 구부리고 쭉 구부린 다음에 뒷발 있는 쪽으로 몸을 틀어 주는 거예요. Yeah. This warm up relaxes the long muscle and ligaments that connect the pubic bone to the outer sides of the knees along the sides of your body. People these days tend to have tense shoulder muscles, so it's also important to relax the muscles in the upper body. Before running, turn your arms in a circle 5 times towards the front and 5 times toward the back so your shoulders are more relaxed. Sudden movements during an exercise can put a strain on the knees. Try to keep the knees together and turn to the left and then to the right five times each. So here we are ready to run. Mm -hmm. But before we do, I was wondering, mm -hmm. how should our body form be mm -hmm. while we're running? 다리는 뻗을 때 뒤꿈치부터 닿아서 그다음에 앞꿈치로 가고 그다음에 
It's helpful to keep your arms swinging while running. It helps keep your body in balance and makes running an exercise for the entire body. Never try to run faster than you can handle. After a five-minute walk and a five-minute speed walk, your back will start sweating. Then you're ready to start running. Now ready to go fast? Oh, no, no, no. 건강을 위한 달리기가 너무 빠른 힘든 훈련이 되다 보면은 mm -hmm. 관절에 근육에 무리가 오고 그 다음 날 전혀 즐겁지가 않아요. Oh. 편안하게 내가 가지고 있는 힘의 60%만 가지고 뛴다면은 oh. 나머지 40%는 생각을 하고 새로운 계획도 세우고 모든 것을 긍정적으로 바로 바로 볼수 있는 그런 넓은 시야가 생기는 겁니다. Oh. 그게 건강 달리기죠. Once you know the proper running method. You can experience the positive effects of the exercise while reducing the chance of injury. For all sports, including running, one of the most essential elements for an effective workout is to prepare the proper attire. As the number of running enthusiasts increases, so does the supply of running equipment. Try shopping around for the equipment and gear that suits you best. What's most important about your attire while running is its ability to absorb sweat. But you have to pay attention to see not only if it absorbs well, but if it fails to evaporate properly, because if it doesn't, it will become heavy as time passes. These days, you can find specially designed tracksuits that functionally collect and evaporate sweat from the body. The most important part of your running equipment is your shoes. Our feet are usually swollen by the end of the day, it's better to choose shoes in a bigger size, one centimeter bigger for men and one to 1.5 centimeters for women. So what kind of arch do I have? A low, medium or high? Medium arch? Uh -huh. Everyone has a different shape of an arch on his or her feet. If you don't choose shoes that perfectly fit your arch, you're only putting a strain on your feet. There's so many different varieties of shoes. Do each one have a different function? Okay, like this one. What does this one do? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. For high arch? Yeah, high arch. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh huh. 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 이제 발의 중간 부분을 또 보아하기도 합니다. So this is for somebody who has a low arch? Low arch. Low arch? Yeah. Okay, why do you have these little loopies here? 아, 이렇게 매시면은 uh -huh. 발, 신발끈이 잘 풀리지 않고요. Oh. 그리고 여기가 좀 편안하게 됩니다. You're bound okay. to injure yourself with loose shoelaces, so make sure you tie them tight. You also want to check by walking around long enough to see if you feel comfortable. You should check if you've chosen the right shoes by running in them. Make sure that your feet are making stable contact with the ground and that your body is not thrown off balance in order to properly enjoy running. Let's run for 30 minutes a day, four times a week. This will be effective in preventing heart conditions and vascular diseases. Does bathing really cleanse the blood? Among many ways to cleanse blood, one of the easiest in your daily life is bathing. It warms up your body and relaxes tense muscles, extracting impurities out of the body. Let's find out how these healthy ways of bathing actually work. During a bath, your blood starts to flow faster, or your pulse rate rises up to twice its normal rate. Such an increase in blood flow will assist your metabolism to relieve your fatigue and stress. Is sweating away in a heated place always good? More and more people are visiting sauna houses and jimjilbang for relaxation these days. Heat treatment helps push the impurities out of your body by sweating. It also relieves tense muscles from muscle aches and knots. Cleansing the blood not only helps alkalize an acidified body, but also relieves stress. But it is not good for everyone. 
너무 오랫동안 고온에서 사우나를 한다 그러면은 에너지 소모도 많이 일어나기 때문에 위험하겠고요. 그 다음에 탈수 문제도 있기 때문에 위험할 수 있겠고요. 세 번째로는 그 고혈압 등 심장 질환이 있는 환자들한테서 심장에 가는 부담이 너무 크기 때문에 어, 생명의 그 위험성까지도 초래할 수 있기 때문에 가급적이면 고온에서 오랫동안 사우나 하는 것은 피하도록 해야 되겠습니다. As much as you may think sweating away in a heated place for a long period of time is supposed to be good for you, it is not that effective. If you wish to intensify the effectiveness of heat treatments, you're recommended to take a 10-minute break after a treatment of 5 to 10 minutes. Make sure you take a 1-hour break after the treatment and relax according to your body's condition. A whole body soak, submerging your entire body into a tub of hot water, is effective for accumulated fatigue. Because it helps your body to sweat more, it enhances your metabolism and relieves stress. However, if you keep your heart and lungs underwater, the water pressure will affect your entire body. If you stay submerged for too long, it will put a strain on your internal organs, so try not to overdo it. A half body soak is good for anyone? A half body soak, submerging only your lower body underwater, has recently become extremely popular in Korea. After about 15 minutes into a half body soak, your face will begin to sweat. As time passes by, you'll feel more sweat on your chest, abdomen, and back. You sweat as the body temperature in your lower body rises, thus circulating the warmed up blood around your entire body. This means a good balance of body temperature. 평소에 손발이 좀 차거나 혹은 평소에 찬걸 먹으면 좀 속이 불편하다거나 혹은 그 머리에 너무 열이 나면서 또 발은 차가워지는 이런 사람들에게 대단히 도움을 줄수 있는 요법이라고 말할 수 있습니다. Compared to a whole body soak, a half body soak puts less of a strain on your heart, making your bath more relaxing. 반신욕은 그 에너지 소모를 적게, 그러니까 대사량을 크게 증가시키지 않고 목욕의 효과를 충분히 얻을 수 있기 때문에 그 소모성 질환이 있는 환자들, 즉 결핵이라든지 아니면 당뇨병, 아니 그 갑상선 기능 항진증이 있는 환자들한테 그 비교적 위험이 덜하면서 목욕 효과를 얻을 수 있겠고요. 또한 가지는 심장 질환이 있는 환자들한테서 목욕이 큰 부담을 줄수 있거든요. 그래서 그런 환자들에서 그 어떤 통증을 제거하기 위해서 하는 좋은 목욕법이 될수 있겠습니다. The general composition of sweat is 97% water and 3% electrolytes and minerals that are essential for the body. In a comparison of sweat samples taken under three different circumstances, after 30 minutes of exercise, in a dry sauna, and after a half-body soak, the amount of electrolytes and minerals in the sweat samples after a half-body soak came out to be the least. This means the half-body soak has the most helpful effect. There are a few precautions you need to take when you enjoy a half-body soak. First, you need to have the right water temperature. The water needs to be kept at 38 degrees Celsius, just above the normal body temperature. You should soak only up to right below your chest. Try to keep your arms out of the water, because submerging them underwater would reduce the effect of a half-body soak. Sit back and relax in this position for about 20 to 30 minutes. If you don't have a bathtub at home, or your bathroom is just too cold, it would be a good idea to try a foot soak, which offers you a similar effect. A foot soak is a great way to relieve stress on your feet. If you move your feet up and down under the water, you can give your calf muscles some exercise too. This will help accelerate your blood flow and relieve stress. You can save time by doing other things, such as watching TV or reading, while you enjoy a foot soak. It is also the one and only way to get a full effect of a bath without worrying too much about where to take it. So it is especially effective for women with sensitivity to cold. If you want a healthy bath, 
you can make your bath all the more enjoyable with some bath products. You can enhance the effect of a bath even up to five to six times. When you use salt during your bath, the fine nutrients in the salt will relax your tense muscles. It will also make your blood flow smoother and help push out impurities from your body. Bath salts sold in markets these days contain oils and other nutrients that reduce skin sensitivity. 솔트 성분과 포쿠스 나미나리아 성분들이 이제 어, 혈액 순환을 많이 도와주고요. 그다음에 노폐물 배농을 도와주고 그렇기 때문에 미네랄 성분을 흡수를 촉진시키는 겁니다. Aroma oils are good for relaxation and relief from stress, as well as for your mental health. For a healthy bath, first, you should never let the water temperature go over 40 degrees Celsius or fill up the bathtub. Second, you should keep the bathroom temperature around 22 degrees Celsius, warmer than the usual room temperature. Third, try to avoid bathing 30 minutes before or after a meal and after exercise. Bathing is not only good for keeping your body warm, but also for relaxation of your tense muscles and even for cleansing your blood. All you have to do now is to see which of these healthy ways of bathing suits your body the most.